Hey guys, sorry in advance if you hear snoring. Christina's asleep because she took her anxiety medication because she has surgery tomorrow. FFS to be exact. But anyways, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Don Marie here. And if you're new here, welcome girlies and boys to and non-binaries. <laughs> you're all welcome here. We don't judge. Today's video, I'm going to be reacting to my very first YouTube video and I would like to share that experience with you guys. Now, let's remind you guys that this video was filmed two years ago, um, almost three actually, um, come October, but this video will have been filmed three years ago, come October, and you guys will realize automatically how much has changed with me when you see this video that I'm about to react to. I was in such a different place to begin with and I was super like naive, vulnerable. I didn't know a thing about like transitioning and like at that time I wasn't even on hormones. I didn't even know where to get hormones to start taking hormones. And at that time, I was like calling places in Beverly Hills and they were trying to charge me like $800 to um, have a consultation and then another hundred, few hundred dollars for the actual hormone replacement therapy when the place that I go to now, they do everything for free and under insurance. So I thank God that I found that. In this video, I literally was like wearing a bra, I had no boobies and I was wearing a cap and a pink shirt and like my friends were coming over because we we're gonna um have a few drinks and have game night at my house my mom was in vegas so she wasn't here so we were just taking advantage of that well, let's react to this video i want to see what you guys think of this video this is my first time watching it for a while so it's going to be kind of fresh for me too so my reaction is going to be pure and genuine Hi guys, it's Dawn. My uh, voice so right off the bat. You can tell what this video is about by the title underneath. But I just wanted to come out and finally say from you know people from seeing me. my hair. Oh my gosh. Me having boobies or girl, or what boobies? Where? These are titties now, right here. Trans you had literally nothing. I just wanted to come out and say I, I am transgender. I can't get over my voice, you guys. Like, listen now and then. Okay, so right off the bat, I can see that I'm talking about how when I was younger, I would like to dress up in like female clothing, wear heels and um, wear girly clothes and play with Barbie dolls and things like that. And this is all true. And like if my mom were to dress me and like anything else besides female clothing, I would feel upset because that's not who I am. That's not what I feel on the inside and that's not what I want to represent on the outside and everyone knew this from an early age that I wanted to be a girl simply by what I did as a youngin but um yeah let's continue makeup like long hair like when I was younger I was wearing a t-shirt on my head and just whip it all who right. else did that I thought it was only me like, this is cute like I like this like I was like I can't wait to get a weed you know 40 inch but, you know, got a 30 inch waiting to be until late. Thank you. Female, everything just felt more comfortable to me. I enjoyed it more. You know, yeah. I'm just growing up in school, elementary school. I would always be more comfortable with the girls. Very true. You know, you would like I was very uncomfortable with the boys. Swings, and we would tie sweaters on our waist and like go on this pole and like go around in circles and stuff like that. Stuff like that. And, and, you know, I'll Okay, be, so like in junior high school or elementary I think this is what I'm talking about but in elementary slash junior high like I would always be with the girls and I don't know if that showed everyone enough that like that's who I am but what I did growing up who I hung out with who I associated myself with everyone should have known oh this person is a transgender person like it's nothing more nothing less it's simple this person is supposed to transition you know so by association already that's who I was you know that's 
That's me. That's Don Marie. The boys are, you know, boys, being categorized with the boys in school, like boys versus girls and this and that, and me having to choose the boys side because that's how I physically was. Yeah. It always made me so uncomfortable and so sad. So I was like, you know what? And you like, this is just not for me, like what you know. And then growing up, you know, getting older, going into So. A lot of the time when I used to make videos back in the day, well I mean like three years ago, like literally everyone would like tear me apart when I would say you know, you know a lot because I was constantly repeating it. And so like honestly, like I can see like why you guys were annoyed. But like this is when I first started YouTube, I didn't have a damn clue what I was doing. So like I was in my thought process, I would be like, you know, you know, as I'm thinking, and like, I sound so stupid, I do realize that now. High school and all that stuff, you know, I had to try and fit in the norm because I was more knowing of what my physical body was, so I was like, you know what, I have to try and fit in, so my senior year... I cannot believe my voice! And you know what, that was just, it just seemed so much easier at the time to say, you know, I'm gay rather than I'm it did. Woman. It did. So. And although I did feel like, oh, like, I know there's something more on the inside. I know there's something that's missing. I know that there's still a piece that I have not found yet. And that was when I came out, <clears throat> I think it was senior year, or a little after senior year, I came out as gay. But that just wasn't enough for me. I was yearning for more. My soul was yearning for more. So when I came out as trans and I realized that, I was just like, wow, like this this is my truth. This is what it's supposed to be, you know? Okay, let's play. You know, I was just like, you know, let me play this part and see where it gets me. And you know what? Just like a few, a year exactly after high school, I just figured out, you know what? I can't do this anymore. That zebra bag that you guys see and that purse behind was strategically put there so that I can feel cute with this video. I was so, oh, oh, cringe. Oh. And you know, people don't see it happening. So I was like, you know what? This is who I am. And ever and since I've made the decision to start transitioning, I've been so much happier. That is so true. So much more. And, you know, There's this radiance about me. There's this glow about me. Yes, honey. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I still have my depressed moment. I really do. And that's why I don't make videos as often. We'll get on that in another video. Let me know if you guys want to hear about that. Even though it has Even nothing it has to do with each other, other, it's just really cool because I found like... That is true. So when I chose my name, um, a lot of people think that I cut my name in half and just used the last part of my name because my name, my birth name was Day Dawn. Now my name is just Dawn. But the funny thing is, is I was looking through a list of names with the letter D and I was looking at all these different names and the name that stuck out to me the most and the name that I thought was so pretty and elegant and feminine was Dawn and it literally had nothing to do with my name but um, I just let some people think it because I don't want to explain it but it has nothing to do with my original birth name by the way immediately with Dawn, D-A-W-N, Day Dawn is both D-E-D-O-N it's funny because they have nothing to do with each other but you know what, I love it but anyway, yeah, there's people that have me yeah, and they, they love me for who I am I'm very, I'm very grateful because I know not all transgender people have that, you know, love behind them. Yes, and I really think that it's important that I address that people and trans people to be exact don't always have the means to survive how they want. For example, if they get kicked out of their homes, they are homeless and then when they're trying to apply for a job, people don't want to hire them because if they're not possible, they can visibly see that they're a trans person. They discriminate but don't want to really say, oh, I don't want to hire you because I'm trans, but we fail to realize that these managers and these management, these people in higher position have the power to be like, oh, well, I don't want to hire you because you just don't seem like you have what it takes to fill in what I need from you for this position. And they can lie and say that, but in reality, they're not wanting to hire you because you're a trans person.
and, and motivate, motivate them, them you, know, you know, to go on with, with what they're doing, the decision they made. Doing. But you know what? I do have that. I'm very supportive friends, and I'm very grateful. And so, yeah, and so, I just wanted yeah, to make a quick like, short video for everybody, for everybody so that you can finally, can finally meet, meet, meet the real me the real and me. you see me in person. Say hello. And this is my hey, new YouTube first video. First video. Subscribe, subscribe comment, like, do, do, do whatever. And just. I was so chill back then. Now I'm all being your face and saying subscribe. Well, and and, and no. don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You know, there's been okay. people telling you. That, oh, it's not the right decision, uh, oh, or you're going to make money, you, you know, regardless, we're going to do this, say this about you, say something negative, positive, whatever, if you're saying something horrible, if you have haters, if you're doing something right. Mm -hmm. so preach, like, says, like, preach. Do what you want to do, and, and, you know, just, you know, just love, love yourself, and love everyone around you, and mm -hmm. just dish out that positivity. Dish out that positivity. So, I love you guys. I love you guys. Bye. 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 Aw, oh, that was so cute. So as you guys can see, I was a lot more laid back back then, but I still think I am. I was just a lot, I'm just a lot more happy with myself now that like I've med medically and physically started to um, begin my transition journey. It's been about two, uh, three years, come October 6th, that I started hormones. That is the day that I made my first video. No, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. It's it's a little sooner. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Don't quit me on it. I'm a lot happier now, and um, I have facial feminization surgery coming up September 16th. Obviously, I'm going to vlog that experience for you guys because I want to bring you along on this journey. Um, I really hope you guys like this kind of video. It was really cringy for me to hear myself talk like that, you know, in that tone of voice. So deep. So deep. It's, it's just a learning process and it's sh it's also showing me like how far I have come because sometimes I don't give myself that credit for how far I have come in my journey mm -hmm. for my transition. I don't give myself enough credit and you know seeing of that video get, made me realize like damn like girl you have come really far like you have really like grown into a beautiful woman and like you're falling into your own and like I really love that and I love that you guys are like here witnessing this journey. Comment down below if you guys have been here since I first started YouTube. I want to see like who's still here. I love you guys so much. This video shout out goes to this beautiful person. Thank you for being subscribed to my channel and being part of the notification squad. I love you very much. I see you. If you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button, like this video, share it with your friends. Um, yeah, and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good night or a day, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys later. Mwah.